Good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm just going to get my screen up to date here in front of me. How is everyone this morning? I'm just going to wait for a couple of people to tune in. And uh, before I make a bit of a start... Comments on. Hi, Rowie. How are you, darling? Good morning, Jenny. Can you guys hear me okay? Good morning, Karen. How are you, sweetheart? So, this morning, as part of the Great Australian Craft Show, I thought that I would give you guys a little demo on using alcohol inks and how super simple and easy they are um the i've got a full range of these really awesome inexpensive inks in and they just look so good um so i thought i'd just show you guys how how easy it is to do uh last month i think it was i did a little online class here in adelaide with my local ladies and we did Copic cards using alcohol inks. Um, we coloured these lovely koi fish in using Copic markers and then created our backgrounds using alcohol inks. So I want to show you this morning how to create these beautiful backgrounds and how quick and simple it is to make some cards that are super punchy and super effective. So these have, like I said, all of these cards here have been colored with alcohol inks um, in alcohol markers with Copic markers and then their backgrounds there in alcohol ink. They are just really, really effective. So I'll put some photos up a little bit later of these uh, later today just to show you. So, um, and you can also, here's one that I colored using um, watercolors so you can get some really awesome effects but our backgrounds are what we are focusing on making today so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make a few cards here um, create a few backgrounds and play with a few color combinations and show you how to how, how super simple it is I do have to use a heat tool during this and um, so it will get a little bit noisy um, so what I've got here is some Yupo paper. So Yupo paper is a synthetic paper. It's more like a, a plastic. It's not necessarily paper. If we were to use alcohol inks on paper, it's super absorbent and it's just going to soak right in. So rather than using yeah, that, I wanted to use something that it's going to spread around and color or move around on here. So what I've got, this is the alcohol ink blending solution and this is what is going to enable me to move the colors around. So the colors that I have got out here to play with this morning are amber, geranium, coral, celestial, uh, eggplant, aquamarine and mermaid everyone knows that I, I tend to go towards the blue tones but I'm, I've got a couple of other colors here that I want to have a little bit of a play with and I've also got a pearl here which is um, and you can see in the bottom it's, it needs a good shake but it's a like a shimmery sort of color as well so what I'm going to do before I start give them all a little shake and take the lids off so that I have them all easily accessible in front of me and that um, I don't spend half the time taking lids on and off these. One second. So how's everybody's morning going? The sun is out here in Adelaide and it is actually looking kind of like a nice day. Um, I'm just shaking this one because it's a pearl and all the shimmers sitting in the bottom. Um, the dogs are asleep in their bean bags out in the sun, sun baking. 
Jessica is sitting here. Um, say hi, Jess. Hi. Jess is sitting here at the moment and she is uploading a whole heap of products to the clearance section, like a half price stuff. Super duper cheap. So um, she is working her little pants off, which is great. Earning some pocket money. Um, all right, so what I want to do, I'm all set up here ready to go. And I'm going to start by putting a little bit of this blending solution straight down onto my card. I'm just going to run some that way. Now I'm just going to zoom in a little because I just realized, oh, there we go that you need to see the magic. And I'm going to start with the blue tones and just show you how quick and easy it is to create something that is visually pleasing. I like to use a heat gun to move it around. And it helps dry it off a bit quicker as well. And now I'm just gonna pop a little extra color in the sides and create, it's just creating something absolutely beautiful here. Put a little highlight down here of yellow. The blending solution is just helping it move around. I don't want too much movement because the, the look that I'm going for here is getting a, a line across my page. So I really want to go with the less is best option. And I'm pretty much liking where that's going. So that's just using a couple of colors there um, and creating something absolutely lovely and I'm going to pop that aside to dry and just keep on making some more so chat amongst yourselves while I just sit here and make pretty things this morning so there are lots of different ways of using alcohol inks the um, the original way of using them with the blending sponges is absolutely beautiful and it gives more of a muted effect um, this is focusing more on a more of a flow rather than a smushed blended look and the the heat gun is blowing around the color as well so you can see how how beneficial it is to to move that color around and I'm only using tiny little drops of color that annoys me there so I have to blend that out a little and pop a little bit more color in there and I'll pop a bit more yellow and a bit more of geranium And then I'm just going to let that sit aside to dry. So that's looking pretty nice, actually. Very, very pretty. Is it the same product that Ranger brings out? Yeah, it is, Sally. Um, this is an Australian company called uh, Couture Creations. And we have found getting Ranger alcohol inks in Australia at the moment is, is a bit of a nightmare. Um, we are having math with them having massive shipping issues and i think there must be like a worldwide shortage at the moment of of alcohol inks so um this australian oh look at that this australian company is um has released their own and they just look amazing they came up great i think there's 51 or 52 colors in the collection including some pearls so this one here is the ink pearl smolder that last one that i just put on is called celestial and that is also a pearl um and the pearl's gorgeous i love the way that the pearl just sits beautifully on top 
Uh, the only colour I don't have in stock at the moment is gold. I do have a range of gold in my personal stash that I like to use. Um, but I think there's a bit of a, a gold shortage at the moment. It's one of the most popular colours. Beautiful, there's another one done. All right, this time I might go with Aquamarine, which is one of my favorites. Now, if I don't use it with the alcohol blending solution, I'll show you what happens. It just doesn't move around as much on here. Um, it doesn't have the same amount of, of flow that adding the blending solution does. So yeah, that's a bit better. And I'm just going to sit and watch that seep into here and seep into there. And just let the magic happen. Oh, I love that. Now, because alcohol inks are, they've got a high alcohol content in them, they don't take too long to dry. So I like to use a heat gun to help push it around because I'm impatient. But adding a few little drops into the puddles while it's wet is great. And then just hitting it with the heat tool. So hitting it with the heat tool is creating these lovely little ponds, these lovely lines. Oh, and I've frozen, no, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's better. I've just turned one of the banks of lights off to give a little bit more lighting here. You can kind of see how that's looking. Love that. Now you can see, again, I'm working on my puppy training pad in the background. Um, I do love that it soaks up any extra puddles uh, and cleans off a, a surface area for me here. So I've always got a clean spot to work on. This color is called Coral. This is, I'm not gonna add any other colors with this except for the pearl in a moment, because I want to show you how pretty the colors are by themselves. Um, so you don't have to buy just one, you don't have to buy a whole heap of colors, you can buy a couple. Um, do I have the card paper in stock as well? Yes, I do. What I decided to do is I've got packs of A4 Yupo in fives and tens. It is not the cheapest product on the market because it is a synthetic paper, but it, it, I'm pretty frugal with my paper. As you can see, I've pre-cut it all to six by four to card fronts. So that is ready to go. So this is a lovely muted pink. And I've put a beautiful pearl over the top as well. How many times can I say beautiful? Seriously. Um, okay, so let's mix a couple of colours together. What I want to do now is I'm go I've got uh, aquamarine and amber. So blue and yellow together would normally make green. So let's see what happens. <laughs> the dogs have started fighting outside. Excellent. Just as if on cue. If anybody watched my live Facebook from yesterday afternoon with <laughs> my dog stealing the show and being an absolute pain in the pants. So I've created a new color down on this side, which is lovely. 
I'm going to pick it up and I just want to run some color down through the middle. I'm actually going to drop a bit more blending fluid in here and a little bit more yellow, a little bit more amber, just to give it a bit more of a pump of color. So you don't want to heat your uh, paper up too much because it is a synthetic plastic paper so it'll almost melt. So you do need to keep your um, paper moving. And as you can see, I'm still adding to this because I've decided, you know what, I can't leave it alone. I've got to keep playing and seeing what I can come up with. So the alcohol inks are $5.50 each, Jess. Does that sound about right? Sorry, the alcohol inks are about $5.50 each and they will last a really, really long time. Um, being, being a, um, you, I mean, you can see how much I use. I only use a very, very small amount. So, yeah, Jess has just confirmed, $5.50. Oh, look at that. Um, have I tried it on photo paper, Fiona has just asked. Yes, I have, and it does not work anywhere as good as what this does. Not even remotely close. I do not love it on photo paper, but that's only because I am a, I'm a bit of a quality sort of person. I would rather spend a couple of more dollars on the really nice paper rather than waste my alcohol trying to get something that looks good on a lesser quality product, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I, I don't love it on photo paper. Um, do you sell the Tim, Tim Holtz alcohol ink blower? Um, no, I don't use that heat blower thing, uh, sorry, the um, alcohol ink blower. I think it is a great idea, but I think it is also one of those lovely overpriced tools that you can use a straw. <laughs> so instead of using a heat tool, I could quite easily blow this around with a straw. It would give a really awesome effect as well. Uh, I'm just gonna add some eggplant because eggplant's Probably my favorite color out of all of them. This lovely deep ink blue is just gorgeous. And that one is clearly my absolute favorite. So I'm just going to pop some lids on quickly so I don't tip these everywhere. And I'm going to show you how I now turn these into cards. Uh, I, most of us have got die cutting machines of some description. Um, so I love using die cutting machines to create simple and easy elements to go on the top here. Um, Another thing I want to point out about these is they've got the lock tops on them as well, which means you have to push down to get the lids off. They, they will just spin if they're touched. So they can't be accidentally picked up with by little fingers. Uh, so if I turn that, it's just turning. Uh, but if I push down, the lid will come off. So... They tie, they lie, uh, sorry, they lock beautifully and um, yeah, so they travel well too, which is always good. Morning, Tony. 
Um, now they're not totally adult proof, Rowie, but um, there has been a couple of my ladies who have struggled to get the lids off. So, um, yeah, as soon as you realise that they are, um, they're locked tight, you're usually pretty good to go. All right, so before I stick anything on, I just need to make sure that these backgrounds are totally dry. The puppy training pad is flammable, FYI. I'm just drying off this last one now. Thank you for your patience. Everyone loves watching paint dry. Oh, missed one. Hang on. Sorry, one more. Oh no, I got a drip. Okay, thank you for your patience there. So a couple of questions have come in. Um, heap, okay, we, okay, adult proof lids. Yeah, we talked about that. Um, what was the blue that I used on, on this guy? Um, I've got no idea. I think I started with aquamarine, added eggplant and mermaid. So that beautiful color combination. Um, you can see how effective that is. Like, I'm pretty sure that I didn't make that look hard. Um, what was the other question there? Do they dry waterproof or do they come back to life if they run wet again? If I run it, if I run water over it, it should be fine. Here's a very, very dry one I did ages ago. So this is just... Adelaide rainwater and I've given that a mist and that yeah that's that's looking it's got a little bit of a smudge there but it's actually coming up looking pretty waterproof if I was to I have a hand sanitizer spray here at the moment uh, well everyone has access to that at the moment but if I spray I'm going to get these out of the way because I don't want to ruin them if I spray my background with hand sanitizer, it will reactivate it because hand sanitizer has got a high alcohol content. So you ready? Oh, it smells nice. Okay. And I don't know if you can see, but it is reactivating The top colors there so 
hand sanitizer can give a really cool effect as well. Cool. All right. So let's make something pretty. Last night, just before we packed up out here, which was quite late, I did a little bit of die cutting. So I have cut out some of the uh, new paper rose dies that I got in this week. So this beautiful little number here is the Poppy Decorative Background Die. And that is gorgeous. So it's quick and simple. I could add that to the front of any of my cards. What have I got here? I think I like that on that one. Oh no, definitely that one. Okay. So all I'm gonna do here is pop a little bit of my puzzle glue on the back. So as part of the um, show this weekend, all of my adhesives have got a 25% off. So 25% off. Sorry, they're not. They're not 25% off. They're 15% off. I don't know why I said 25%. Um, but they're 15% off. So that is your glues, your double-sided tapes. Um, all of your adhesive needs are... 15% off. So you can stock up on your t um, all of your tapes. It's a perfect opportunity. Um, the tapes that I use are Australian. So there are some well-known reputable brands such as uh, Express Graphics and Crafts For You. So I will, uh, so that your silicon tape and your foam tapes, they're on, all on special as well. And this puzzle glue that I get from... Um, Poland is also on special. Um, so instant card front there. I will trim that down once it's dry. What else have I pre-cut? Um, I have pre-cut some... Oh, these are gorgeous. Okay. So these are the... I don't know what they're called. Let's have a look at the packet. The Ginkgo Leaf Layered Die. So there's two different ones here that I've used. Um, and this beautiful one is right there. Where's the other one gone? Oh, here. And that's the other one. So these are just going to be gorgeous on the front of a card. So I might just lay some of these out just to see how they look before I commit to anything. Because I'm indecisive. Uh... I've also got some of the Tim Holtz uh, butterflies. So these are lovely. These are from the Thinlets. And this set is called... I've got no idea what it's called. 664409. Wow, that's, that's great. Um, but these are gorgeous. So it's this one here, Jess. Find that one and... Pop, oh, a, pop a link in, love. That one's... Um, very nice. And I also did a, one more die cut as well. This is the new... This one was only released this week. The Paper Rose HUD die. So this is gorgeous for men's cards, men's layouts, men's projects. Um, so I'm just going to sit here and fluff around and cut some of these out. Oh, and the uniquely creative little compass as well. So perfect size for scrapbook layouts and gift cards. 664409 mm -hmm. is the scribbly butterflies. Scribbly butterflies. And I reckon I've got some scribbly bugs as well, don't I? Yeah, no. Like oh, bees no. or something. Geo insects. Geo insects. Oh, so the scribbly butterflies are $32. $32. Is that all? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm just going to pop a couple of these on top of here and lay them out. Oh, that's not bad. Might pop a butterfly over there. And I'll pop a couple of sentiment stamps on. And I've got some quick and easy and simple little gift cards and card fronts ready to go. I have to say, this one here has just dried up looking really, really pretty. And something like this 
here to follow the curve of that line. And I'll trim that down a little bit. It will just look really, really nice. Um, so there you have it. Quick, easy cards using alcohol inks and die cuts. Uh, you'll find these all on my website, uh, nataliemay.com.au. Uh, and this weekend, I yeah have, have got the huge sale on. So lots and lots of things happening. Dina Wakeley products are all 15% off. All papers are 15% off. Adhesives, stamps, stencils, all Lindy's Gang products. Um, this afternoon, I'm going to jump back online and do a scrapbook layout using, I don't know, maybe stencils and modelling paste and possibly sprays. I haven't really thought it through. Um, and I think that Jessica is going to jump on mm -hmm. and do a, a pour with boom gel today. We decided last night, had a look at our stocks of boom gel, and we have reduced all of our boom gel prices by 40%. So they are 40% off for boom gel um, until the end of the week. We have limited ranges of colour, but if you're wanting to try paint pouring, Jessica will be back a little bit later on today to do a, an impromptu little demo and show you how easy it is. She hasn't done it in Oh, yeah, last time. Two years. April scholar, April, April last year, she reckons, and she can't remember how to do it, but she's going to give it a red hot go. Um, so, other than that, I Can hope I you're... Just ask a quick question. Yep. Any discount on Dilutions paints? No, there's no discounts on Dilutions paints, uh, but Jessica has just loaded some Dilutions paints into the clearance section. Dilutions? But yeah. not. Did you not do oh, the No, tops. yep, she's put some Dilutions paints into the clearance section, so you can jump in there and have a bit of a look. Um, but the new paints, no, no, there's no discounts on those. Um, and for those of you looking for speckled egg distress oxides, if you have a look in my new products section, you will find it available for $10.50 per ink pad, okay? Just letting you in on that one. All right, guys. I hope you're all having a fantastic Saturday. I'll post. I'll finish these cards off off camera, then post them all online um, with some links. And look forward to chatting to you all again soon.